if you want to go buy, here I can drop these off and we can go buy. Uh, we need milk too, don't we? And we're going to go in here, I'll get the, we need to get the milk and then we'll go down by. I'll run in and get it. Huh? I'll run in and get it. My green bud. Yeah, your coffee creamer too. I'm okay with mine. Handicap. Want to? They said trouble? they said they don't care as long as there's other spaces available. As I told them, I don't have a handicap sticker, but I have a bad back and bad shoulder, and bad knees, and bad toes, and bad fingers. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, wow! So, um, milk, coffee creamer. We'll get the toilet paper down down there at Family Dollar, because you get more, it's cheaper. Mmm, oh, mm. You want me to run and get it, honey? Boy, do we have a pool at our house? Oh, no. In the backyard? No, not really. They painted it gray. They painted the house gray. No, I don't like it. It doesn't stand out as much as it used to, but it was so neat back in the 60s. You know, they all had different colors. And then when women painted, I knew the people that had the house there on the cross. And uh, the people I had there that I said was, and they, when one would paint the house and the others would paint, and they do a different color. They all had, I didn't know the people had the big house there. Yeah, me neither. Them about soon though. That house gets expensive every year. A girl came in today, or a lady came in today. Yeah. She kind of looked familiar. But it's so hard to tell because everybody's gotten grayer and older. And she came up to me, she says, I know who you are. I looked at her, she says, You're one of these. I think you're Mary. I said, You're right. She says, You remember me? And I said, I don't know. I said, there's some familiar, I remember, but I can't remember your name. I can't remember what it goes to. And she told me her name, and I, I remember she used to be one of these little gals that just loved, she, just would, she idolized my sister and I. She has got long hair, pretty clothes, we were pretty cool. I haven't seen her since, I think it was 19... 70 was last time I saw her, and she moved away, and she just moved back because her kids, one of the kids moved back here. And she doesn't know, she said, I don't know what's happened, she's at my house, she's got bugs, all sorts of bugs. She said, I've never seen this many bugs. <laughs> yep, it's the the bugs. Oh, I guess. Sorry, I swear, I swear. Horrible. Oops. Whoop. <laughs> I didn't know Cadillac made a little truck. Where? Come on, honey. Where's the Cadillac truck? A little white one that's parked over there.
Somebody said that they chopped that house up in there. And when you go in, it used to have like, for the little window, that's where the stairway that went upstairs. Yeah. They had like a parlor and a great big dining room and a great big kitchen in the back. And it had another little room, like a, I guess a living room and another bedroom and all these different things, a little breakfast area. But I guess they chopped it up and made like two apartments downstairs and there's three apartments upstairs. And they all have one bedroom or two bedrooms. And uh, I'm just thinking, if I would do something like that, I would definitely make sure that I could knock the walls down and open it up again. <laughs> there you go. Mama's had a migraine all day. I don't know. She's been mad at me for all day. Oh, God. Me too. And I, this guy came in and showed me his van today. This one guy got a van. And it's a brand new, it's a Dodge van. And it has one slide out. I went in there and I said, I could use this. I could live in this. I said, there's a few things I need to keep. He said, well, I have a cargo trailer that's the same size as the van. That I've got my personal things that I don't want to get rid of. I said, hey, like living like this? He says, not like. But he told his family... We can't get along. I don't need to be around. Forget about me. So now they're getting along really good. Daughter and granddaughter took off someplace. They didn't know, didn't know where they were. But they called one day and said, Rebecca, where are you at, Dad? He said, well, who is this? And she said, this is Jamie. He said, oh, I had a daughter named Jamie. That's me. I'm back, I'm back home. He said, I'm not there. She said, well, where are you? He said, I can't tell you, but I can come back to see you. And he came back. And he talked her into getting a van. And he finally bought a little house. And now his granddaughter is in 4-H and trying out to be the um, um, queen for the rodeo. rodeo queen. And she never liked horses before. <laughs> because they decided they did need each other. But not as close as what we've been. I want my family back. Probably if I had a boyfriend in my life, if I took the time to have a boyfriend in my life, but then it wouldn't matter. I could walk away from it all. I just wish you would have come back when... I wish... Yeah, I would... he, won't, he doesn't care about us anymore. No, he does. He's stubborn like your mom. I wish you would have come back when your mom went to get you guys. I can't understand why he didn't. Why didn't he? Was he afraid? Did he know he had he was invited to he come only, back to? He only called Debbie because he thought that, that we were getting beat. That you were going to be beat? No, that we were getting beat because we wouldn't help. No, I never heard that. I never heard that story. I didn't think he got asked to go with you. I thought he. I thought he didn't get a message from your mom. He tricked me into going. 
No, I'm, I'm talking about when... I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about leaving Debbie's house when you left Debbie's house. I don't know. That you didn't tell him that he could come too. And then when he called your mom and wanted to come home, she said, Nope, you didn't want to come home when I wanted you to. No, I didn't. I didn't call mom. That's what I heard. And he was crying. He was crying really bad. No, he he can't call mom. No, this was before he left. Because he went then he then he he wanted to come home. He wanted to come back. That was me. I know you're already back. He never called mom. The only re he uh, he he texted her saying that he wants his stuff, well, he but he cry, never. He was crying to come on back. the phone. He was crying on the phone. No, we, we never. He never called us. Come That's on. not what I understood. I understood. And he was wanting to get his bike. He was talking to your mom on the phone. That's what she said, or I heard, or something. I don't know. I don't really care. All I know is I'm going over to Karen about a month or two, and I'm gonna see if I can find him. Can so I can say hi. Huh? His dad will put a restriction order on this. Well, all I have to do is go through the court. And why? Why would he do that? Because he thinks the side of the family is bad. Jason. Oh, God. Do you know what his family side did? I got stories. I remember his mom. That's why he and her got a divorce. I remember all that. <laughs> that was not a pretty picture either for Jason to be raised in. Nobody wanted to pay attention to what needed to be done, and it still can be fixed. It still can be taken care of. I never give up. I never give up. That's why I keep living. Things can be fixed. They can be repaired. Your mama can sue for being evicted. There's a, the attorneys now that are handling it. They'd love to handle it because this one gal just received $130,000 from Colorado West, and another person got $80,000 from Open from an eviction that she got it, right two months before he, he left, before he, they sold it to somebody else. But you can't sit around and keep brooding and groaning and uh, complaining and blaming and, you know, making everything so down and out because it's making me sick. It's killing me. What am I doing wrong? I'm, I'm not saying you. You can't be positive and go forward and say, well, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to make this work. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this taken care of. I've tried. I've tried. And I know, but your mom needs to do it, and I can't tell her, and she's and if she wants to keep blaming me, that's fine. That's all I can say. That's because me and mom just need to run away for a couple of years and just not talk to anybody. Well, I'm not doing anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing. I couldn't pay her rent and my rent. She wanted me out, so I moved out. And then she said she didn't know I was really going to move out. I was moving out. I was moved out. Well, you left on his birthday, so you basically had to be there for the month. You left. It you doesn't left matter. I paid the fucking rent for a two, two and a half, for longer than that. I paid the rent for her when I was still living out at my at that double wide. It doesn't matter. I, it wasn't my house. Hey. Okay. Anyway, I paid the rent. I did the best I could. I don't know what she's going to do when I die. Who the fuck's going to take care of it? It's going to be me. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. You know why? I get other people that love me. And I get other people that care. Okay. And when I get back down to them, I can go ahead and go back into the foster grandparent situation. Or I'll probably go ahead and get Heather and Keith back. Thank you. 
torn up here. behind you on the floor. I just want yeah. to see my grandson. Yes, <laughs> because I was going to go in now, it's going to take longer. So it'll be closed by the time I can go there. No, it's fine. No, it's not. Well, it has to be. Because I wanted to return that, so I won't have to worry about it later. Because it's something I wanted to do that I suggested for me because it's something that needs to be done. I have to answer it, everybody. Okay, well, she's right there, so... Good. Mm. Hi. Isn't it funny how they go down to 99 cents on those? And I remember you said it was $1.49. I thought that was a bargain. You want to put these back there or you have some place you can hang on to them? 